Okay, so in pair of pose, so we can do the cross You know, you go back, back one, but just only the block on your knees. Is that comfy? Is it okay? If you don't need the block, you can sit flat. If it's too not high enough, you can turn the block, raise it up a little bit, and sit a little bit more on the block. If you need two, that's also good. Is that are you guys comfortable? Good. Okay. Then bring your hands, clasp them together like that in the sense of your heart and close your eyes and don't put too much pressure. So don't pull them apart too much. You can either look towards the top of your nose or have your eyes closed. And just start to notice your breath. And the sensations into your knees and into your feet. So this is more about an elemental flow we're working with. All the elements, water, wind, fire, as we go through the practice. And this, holding the hands, pulling them as slightly apart, is just opening up the heart space. So you can give a gentle pull now. Take a deep inhale breath. Exhale, side out, and then change the grip. Just switch the hands around and grip the other way around. You'll feel it's a little bit awkward. Relax the grip, don't pull too hard, especially if you've got nails. And you can start to notice some, ten notice some tension into the arms, activating on your biceps. If you're pulling a little harder, and maybe the shoulders, so relax your shoulders a little bit. And take a deep inhale breath. Exhale. And then release your arms to the mat. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead, palms to touch, and exhale your hands through to your heart center. Spine your head down towards your heart and setting an intention for your practice. Just to honor your body, move when you can, stop when you can't, push where you want to and back off when it's time. And then relax your arms down. You can slowly flutter your eyes open. Still comfortable seated like this? All good? All right, we're gonna do some belly breathing, okay? If that doesn't work, you can also place the block between the thighs. So if you want to sit on the block between the thighs, just towards the back, by the ankles resting onto your feet, that. Okay, if that works a bit better for you. Otherwise, just sitting in Varasana here, of course. Okay, let's do some belly breathing. Inhale through the nose. And we're going to exhale through the nose. And relax your breath. Roll over your knees and immediately tuck in your toes and lift your legs up into downward facing dog. It's going to feel quite good. Stretching out your legs. You can pedal out your legs right and left, left and right. Just getting into the legs, letting the blood flow go into your legs. Stretch them out, whatever feels good for you. And relax. Good. Then come to stillness in your downward dog. Make sure your feet. Our hip distance apart, hips up high, heels down low. And just notice your breath, push the ground away from you, inhaling and exhaling, relax. And slowly lower your knees to the mat. Sit back onto your heels, extend your arms out in front of you, separate your knees into wide-legged child's pose. Stretch your arms right out in front of you as far forward as possible. And take a deep inhale breath. Exhale. Deep inhale breath. Exhale. 
deep inhale breath, exhale, and then slowly start to walk your hands all the way over to the right side. So you're stretching into the left side. Keep down nice and low and see if you can place your, right, your left hand on top of your right hand. Try to keep the shoulders nice and still and flat as far as possible. Relax your neck. Spread your hands wide. Inhale breath. And exhale. Softening into your armpits. Feeling the sensations of the stretch down the side of your body. And slowly walk the hands back through to center. Extend your arms out in front of you. Come up onto the fingertips. Lengthen under your armpits. Pull and grip the ground. Take an inhale. Exhale, walk all the way to the left side. Keep down low. Keep your right hand on top of the left hand if you can. That's optional. Just getting a deeper stretch into the right side, into the right armpit. Each inhale, creating space around you. Each exhale, relaxing into that space. Breathe. And relax. And breathe. And slowly, gently walk your hands back through to center. Send your arms out in front of you. Plant your palms down onto your mat and roll up into a tabletop position. Feet, knees, hip distance apart and facing backwards, hands spread wide underneath your shoulders. Again, tucking your toes, hips up, down dog. As you're moving here, move right and left into the legs, getting into your hips, getting into the legs. As you keep compressing into the hip spaces, relax your belly towards your thighs, look back towards the back of the room and come to find stillness. Gently look to the top of your mat and walk all the way up to the top of your mat, making small movements with your feet. Try to keep them flat onto your mat and between your hands. Grab your opposite elbows hanging your rag doll. You can take a gentle sway your side to side as we're moving with the air element. Inhale, notice your breath. Exhale, relax. Relax your neck. So let your head look towards the back of the room. Knees can be bent if you want. They do not have to be straight. And slowly release your hands to the mat. Gently round up vertebra by vertebra. Head comes up last. Inhale and reach your arms up overhead. High mountain pose. Look up. Exhale, a little backward bend, not too much. Just tracing your fingertips across the ceiling. Relax your neck back. Lift up and out your waist. And then go a little bit further back. And inhale back through to center. Wide forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Either fingertips to the mat or hands to shins. Lengthen your spine. Now frame your feet, step back to plank, hold your plank. Lower your knees to the mat, relax your toes. Don't lower chest and chin, lay down your entire body straight in a straight line all the way down to the mat. Extend your right arm out to the side, left palm facing next to your face, so on the mat next to your face, bend your right leg, your left leg, sorry. Roll over onto your right side. Drop your left foot behind your right, right ear on the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly warming up the body. And gently roll back through to center. Take your left arm out to the side. Right arm towards your face. Bend your right leg, roll over onto your left side, left ear on the mat. Inhale breath. And exhale. Inhale breath. 
and exhale. Breathe. Gently roll back onto your belly. Place both hands next to your face. Tuck in your toes. Push into a plank. Hold your plank, feet hip distance apart. And we're going to slowly shift forward and backwards, just activating the belly. So maybe even rolling over the toes, stretching the calf muscles, shifting shoulders in front of the wrists, and backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Suck your belly in. Don't lift the bum too high, just backwards and forwards over the toes. And come through to stillness. Lift your hips up into downward facing dog. Find exact stillness now in down dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale, inhale, right leg up. Point your toes. Lift your leg up as high as you can. Point your toes, make your leg long. Equal pressure in both hands. Bring your knee in towards your chest, round forward, and step your foot between your hands. Lower your left leg down. Relax your toes. Walk your leg as far back as it will go. So the left leg as far back as it will go. Inhale, reach your arms up, the lunge. Relax your shoulders down and back. Take your right hand behind you as if you're just supporting your lower back. Reach your left arm overhead for a little back. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch your left arm way back. And then slowly bring your left hand to your mat on the inside of the right foot. Tuck in your left toes. Keep the bind of your arm. Open your chest up towards the ceiling. Breathe. And then keep that bind and pull your right shoulder back with you. Squeeze your right glute and your left. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Unravel your right hand. Frame your right foot. Turn your left toes out 90 degrees. Bring your right hand to the inside of the right foot. Shift your hips back. Flex your right toes. We're coming into a skandasana, not too low too soon, okay? We're just flexing, so we're halfway there. Maybe hands, palms to heart center or fingertips to the mat, whatever feels good for you. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Place your fingertips to the mat. Slowly move to center. Turn your right toes inwards, left toes inwards. Coming into a forward fold, relax your chest and chin to the mat. You can relax your hands to the mat. You can grab your feet if you want to. Or you can just stay here hanging in your separate leg stretching. And for a moment, we're just going to see how that feels in the hips as we allow the body to start stretching and relaxing. Relax your neck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Slowly come up onto your fingertips. Bring your hands to your hips. Come up all the way. Hinge up. Straight flat back. Bring your heels to face each other inward. Toes facing outward. Bend into your knees and sit down in goddess squat. Tuck your tailbone in. Inhale. Reach your arms out to the side. Up overhead. Palms flat. Exhale, hands down through to heart. Inhale, arms out to the side, up overhead, palms flat. Exhale, hands down through to heart. Inhale, arms out to the side, up overhead. Exhale, hands through to heart. Bring your hands back to your hips, straighten out your legs. Pivot to face the front of the room. Back foot in 45 degrees. Hinge your torso forward all the way. Bring your arms out to the side like airplane wings. You're not going further than that. Try to straighten out the right leg. Breathe. Now bring your arms in line with your ears. Slight bend into the right leg. Lift your torso all the way up for warrior one. Inhale breath. Exhale. Right hand comes behind your back. See if you can grab your hip, your butt, or you can just have your hand flat. Reach your left arm overhead for a little back. Inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bring your left hand to the inside of the right foot. Twist again for your twist. Look past your right shoulder. Unravel, frame your foot with your right hand. Step your left foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, arms out to the side, up overhead, high mountain. Exhale, little backward bend. Inhale, arms up, stretch out, forward fold, exhale. Halfway left, inhale, straight flat back. Hands to the mat. Step your left foot back, slip, step your right foot back. And we're going to move back and forwards again. Just gentle moving over the toes, stretching into calf muscles, moving backwards and forwards. Heels behind the toes, then in front. Heels behind the toes, then in front. Suck your belly in, engage your core. Come to stillness, hips up, down dog. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Lift leg up, point your toes. Lift your leg up high, as high as possible. Make your leg long and strong. Push the ground away from you. Bring your knee into your chest, round forward. Step your foot between your hand, lower right leg down. Good, relax your toes. Try to get the leg as far back as possible so you can stretch nicely into the psoas muscles. Inhale, reach your arms up, low lunge. Breathe. Now take the left hand behind you. Maybe you can grab, maybe it's just resting there on your side. Reach up and exhale a little back. Inhale. And exhale. Hold it. Now bring your right hand on the inside of the left foot. Tuck your toes in of the right leg, stretch your leg, straighten your leg, open your chest up towards the ceiling as you use your arm for leverage to bind you and twist your body up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your glute and feel the stretch into the back of your left hammy. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Inhale, breath. Exhale, slowly unravel, frame your foot. Turn your right toes out 90 degrees. Shift your hips back, bend into the right leg, flex your left foot. Don't go too low, hands either too hard. So it's a high skandhasana, high side lunge. Maybe you can feel some vibrations happening into your legs, some shaking. So we're activating into our nervous system, into the hips. Now place your hands to the mat, slowly shift your body forward to center. Bring your right left toes inward and forward fold for Pasarita, standing separate leg stretching. Breathe. You can take it a little bit deeper. Maybe this time take your hands to the back of your mat and slowly turn your hands the other way around to face the other side of the room and pull your body closer towards your legs. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Breathe, don't hold tension onto your body, relax your neck. And gently walk your hands forward, come up halfway, fingertips to the mat, lengthen the spine, then bring hands to your hips, turn your heels inward, toes outward, squat down, goddess squat. This time take your hands, push your knees away from your chest up, squat down a little lower. Now inhale, reach your arms out to the side, up overhead, palms flat. Exhale, hands through to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through to your heart. Hands to hips. Straighten out your legs. Pivot to face forward. Adjust the back foot a little bit out. 45 degree angle. Bounce the hips, hinge forward, use your arms out to the side like airplane wings, only halfway. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your arms in line with your ears. Slight bend into the left leg. Lift your torso up so you're in warrior one. Bring your right hip forward, left hip back. Good. Left hand comes behind you. 
Reach your right arm overhead, little back bend. Inhale. And exhale, hold it. Another breath now. And take your right hand to the inside of your left foot. Twist your chest open. Look up towards the ceiling. Breathe. And gently unravel the left hand. Frame your foot. Step your right foot forward, forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, hanging rag doll. Inhale, breath. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Slowly round up all the way, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway left, inhale. Hands to mat, step back to plank. Going to take our first vinyasa of choice. So either knees to floor or through chaturanga, bending your elbows, coming halfway, hovering up dog or cobra, and exhale downward facing dog. Okay, let's move it up a little bit. Right leg up, point your toes. Bend your knee, bring your knee to your right elbow, hold. And exhale, kick it back. Bring your knee in towards your chest, round forward, step your foot between your hands, lower right, left knee down, relax the toes. Sweep your arms up, low lunge. Good. Right hand behind you, left arm overhead, bend back. Keep the bind, left hand to the mat, tuck in your left toes, straighten out your legs, open your chest towards the ceiling. Push the ground away from you. Listen carefully, drop your left heel to the left side of the room. You can either slowly, gently walk your foot all the way to the back of the mat or lift it into your side plank. Hips up, keep the arm behind you. That's different, yeah. And slowly unravel, come back through to center, hips up, down dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Again, right leg up, point your toes. Bend your knee, round forward, step your foot between your hands. Turn your left toes out, 90 degrees, straighten out the right leg. Shift to the back of the room, this time squat down lower for your skandhasana. Flex your foot or point your toes, whatever feels good for you. Breathe. If you want to try, you can open your left hand to point to the back of the mat, right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe this time also go for the bind, open your chest. Hold it for another breath, inhale. Exhale, and slowly shift to center, turn your feet to face inwards, forward fold, relax. Inhale, breath. And exhale, this time everybody go and grab the calf muscles behind the leg and pull your body in towards your legs. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Release hands to mat, come up halfway, straighten out your spine. Then hands to your hips, come up with a straight flat back. Heels inward. Bend knee, squat down, goddess squat. Right hand to your belly, left hand to your sacrum, tuck your tailbone in. So you're making sure your tailbone is nice and tucked in, sit down lower. Hands to your knees, push your knees upward and away from you. Take an inhale breath, exhale side out. Inhale breath, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Straighten out your legs. Pivot on your heels to face the front of the room. Bend your uh, hinge at your hips. Come down, arms out to the side. In your pyramid, half pyramid. Reach your arms in line with your ears. Bend into the right leg. Lift torso, warrior one. Good. Left, right hand behind you. Reach back. Come back through to center, left hand to the mat. Okay, this is where we're gonna come up either onto your block or onto your fingertips. 
whatever works for you for balance. Lift your left leg up and hover in your half moon twist. So open your chest up towards the ceiling. That's it. Keep using your arm to pull you back even more, even more. Lift your leg, point or flex your toes. Use your glute. Feel it into the back of your right leg. Feel it into your quad. Slowly release your hands to the mat, both hands to the mat. Left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Hold it, hold it. And gently release left leg next to right. Walk out the legs right and left, left and right. Relax in a forward fold. You can sway side to side. Relax your neck. You can grab your elbows. You can have your hands hang, whatever feels good. Gently roll up vertebra by vertebra. Head up last. Inhale, arms up. Reach, relax your shoulders. So first relax the shoulders down and back. Tuck your tailbone in. Relax your neck back. Lift up out of your waist like you want to reach something, grab it off the ceiling, and then slowly start to trace your arms across the ceiling and come into your deeper back of bend. Inhale up. Exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to the mat, step your right foot back, step your left foot back. We're going to move back and forward. So extend your heels to the back of the room. Then push forward, shoulders in front of the wrists. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back, hips up, down dog. Wrist. Inhale breath. Exhale, inhale breath, exhale, left leg up, point your toes, lift your leg up high, as high as possible, bend your knee towards your left elbow, hold it for a breath, inhale, exhale, kick it back, inhale, knee into chest, round forward, step your foot between your hands, lower your right knee down, relax your toes. Arms up, low lunge. Left arm behind you. Grab, don't place. Inhale and back to bend. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Inhale, breath. Exhale, right hand inside of left foot. Tuck in the right toes, straighten out, open your chest. You can make the same choice you did on the other side. Either walk the foot or float and hover the foot all the way back as you drop the right heel out to the side. Then lift your right leg, left leg into your side um, plank. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly unravel. Come back through to center. Hips up, down dog. Inhale, and exhale. Left leg up again, point your toes. Bend your knee in towards your chest, round forward, step your foot between your hands. Good, drop your right toes out 90 degrees, shift back coming into your skandhasana, hands through to heart center. Maybe you're down lower this time. Good. Maybe extend your right arm down towards the ground, push your knee away from you, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling for surface um, pose. Inhale breath. Maybe go for the bind. Open your chest. Breathe. And slowly use your hand, shift back through to center, coming into your standing separate leg. Turn your left toes to face forward and see if you can come into your deepest expression of a split. So walk your feet to the outer edges of your mat as far as you can go right now. You're going to hold it for at least five breaths. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale, breath. And exhale. Last big breath in. Exhale. Slowly toe heel your feet closer together, at least a meter apart. Come up onto your fingertips, flat back. Hands to hips, come up with a straight flat back. Heels in, toes up, bend your knees, goddess squat. Tuck your tailbone, push your knees away from you. Inhale, breath. Exhale, part left side out. Inhale, exhale. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Exhale, hands to hips, straighten out your legs, pivot to face forward. Adjust your back leg, hinge forward into your pyramid, halfway, arms out to the side. Look down, past your toes. Reach your arms in line with your ears, bend into the left leg, lift your torso up, warrior one, right hip forward. Good, left hand behind you, right arm reach back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach back, further back. And now bring your right hand to the ground. Maybe onto your fingertips and lift your right leg up. Open your chest towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Get your leg in line with your hip. Open your chest. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Suck your belly in. Breathe and slowly unravel. Place your hands to the mat. Lift your right leg up to your standing split. Higher, higher, higher. To where you feel you cannot go, go there. And then go a little bit deeper. And slowly bring your right foot to meet your left. Walk the legs up, right and left. Bend into the legs, bend into your hips. And nod and shake your head. Relax your shoulders and your head. Then separate your feet hip distance apart. Lift the soles of your feet, bend your knees, and place your hands underneath your feet. Massage your wrists out with your toes. Relax your neck. Now see if you can straighten your legs and straighten your arms into like a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend the elbows, pull your body down towards your legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And take your hands up from underneath your feet. Come into a halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Place your hands to the mat. Step your left foot back, step your right foot back. Vinyasa of your choice. Either through Chaturanga, hovering halfway, push forward and up, up, double cobra. And meet back and downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Look towards the top of your mat, bend your knees, step, hop, or jump. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, arms out to the side, up overhead, high mountain, exhale, hands through to your heart. Good job, arms by your side. Inhale, sweep your arms up, Utkatasana, breathe. Exhale, swing your arms back. Inhale, sweep your arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, sweep the arms back onto the toes. Exhale, up. Exhale, back, lift and onto the toes. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, forward fold, halfway lift, hands to mat, 
Step back to downward facing dog. Hips behind the heels, I mean heels behind toes, feet hip distance apart, bum up, belly towards thighs, chest towards the ground. Inhale breath, exhale breath. Inhale breath, exhale breath. Inhale, right leg up, point your toes. Bend your knee, drop your hip open towards the right, up towards the ceiling and foot towards the left, half scorpion. Option, stay here. Other option, drop your foot over, flip your dog and meet in wild thing. Hips up high, breathe. Push your hips more up and come back through to three-legged dog, right leg up. Bring your knee to your right elbow, hold it. Exhale, kick it back. Knee to left elbow. Flick your foot to the left. Come onto the inner blade of the right foot. Reach your arm up for falling star. You can hover the foot or slide the foot away from you. Open your chest up for falling star. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly pull your hip back. Turn your left toes to face forward, right leg up, three-legged dog. Come up high onto the left toes, round your spine forward, shoulders in front of the wrist. Lower down, hover your leg, inhale up, dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Lower your knees to the mat. Sit back onto your heels. Interlace your fingers into fists. Roll the wrists out. Inhale. And exhale, roll them the other way. Take your left hand, grab your right wrist, roll it out. And the other way around. And the other way around. And right hand, left wrist, roll it. And relax. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, part lip side out. Another one, inhale. Exhale. Come back through to tabletop. Separate the knees hip distance apart. Let's do a round of cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly down. Tuck your tail, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, drop belly down, look up. Exhale, round your spine, take your chin to your chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Come through to neutral spine, tuck in your toes, hips up, down dog. Inhale, breath, exhale. Inhale, breath. Exhale, wrap your lats around you. Draw your armpits underneath you. Broaden across your back. Suck your belly in. Lift your hips up higher. Left leg up, point your toes. Bend your knee, drop your foot towards your right butt. Open your hip. Option to stay here, option to flip your dog. Drop your right foot, left foot behind you. Left arm up, wild thing. Inhale, lift your hips up more, push them towards the back of the room. Inhale, and exhale back through to center. Keep the leg up, three-legged dog. Now bring your right knee, your left knee to your right elbow. Flick your foot to the right, either plant the foot, open your chest up, right arm reaches back for falling star. Inhale. And exhale. Open your chest wider. Enjoy the posture. Come back through to center. Bring your left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Roll high onto your right toes. Shift your shoulders in front of your wrists. Slowly hover down. Or you can take a vinyasa of your choice. Up dog or cobra. And meet back. In child's pose, relax. 
Take a moment. Inhale, breath. Exhale. You can meet back in child's pose, cat. Child's pose. Take a rest. Take a rest. Take a water break. Take a rest. And slowly round up through to tabletop. Separate your knees a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Walk your hands far forward, all the way beyond your mat. As far forward as you can. Lift your bum up and lower your chest and chin to the mat for puppy dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Soften into the arms. Soften into your armpits, soften into your lower back, and slowly, gently shift your hips forward into Sphinx pose. Stretch your legs out behind you, hug your elbows underneath you. Get onto your mat. We're starting in Sphinx pose. And separate your feet, mat distance apart. Relax your hips. Push the ground away from you. Relax your chin. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Slowly lower your chest down, then bring your hands just in front of your shoulders, okay? So not behind the shoulders, in front of your shoulders, so in line with your neck. Take an inhale and lift up a little higher. Hug your elbows still in. If you can, straighten, you can. And exhale, lower it up. Now walk your hands underneath your shoulders, so fingertips are in line with your shoulders. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, next inhale, straight and lift up. Relax your shoulders down so if they're there, pull them away from you. And lower down. Place your hands by your waist, if you can get them there. If not, you're gonna do it again by your shoulders. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, next inhale, lift up, straighten up. Try to soften in the posture. We're holding for another breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Good job. Face your hands underneath your shoulders. Feet hip distance apart. Push into the ground, back to tabletop. Good. Inhale, breath. Exhale, tuck toes, down dog. Hips up, heels down. Knees can be bent, relax. Inhale. And exhale. Look towards the top of your mat. Bend your knees, step up or jump. Half lift, inhale. A forward fold, exhale. Arms out to the side, up overhead, high mountain. Exhale, hands through to your heart. Interlace the fingers, roll out your fists, roll out your wrists. Roll them this way and that way. Place your hands underneath your armpits, pull your elbows down. Get a good stretch into the hands. And release your hands. Walk your feet to the outer edge of your mat. Feet facing out towards 45 degrees, so your heels are on your mat. Bend your knees, squat down low, Malasana, yogi squat. Knees in, elbows in towards the knees. Bum down low, hands into heart and so push your knees away. Option stay here, other option, hands to mat. Bring your knees onto your triceps, onto your biceps. Make sure you're on your mat so you don't knock your head on the floor. Roll forward option, lift one toe, then the other toe, other option going straight into your crow pose. Hug everything into midline. Lift the legs, squeeze the knees in towards your arms. Squeeze everything as tight as possible. Weight into the hands. And you can roll backwards and forwards if you want to. Breathe. Oh, 
Well done, everybody. Good job. When you're ready, you can sit back. Place your hands to the mat, walk your legs back, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale breath, exhale. Look towards the top of your mat, bend your knees, step up for jump. Halfway left, inhale, hands to the mat, exhale. Walk your feet outwards towards the edge of your mat and on the edge of your mat. Okay, so your feet are away from your mat, they're not turned in or out, they're parallel to your mat. Come onto your hands, okay? If you need a block, place a block underneath your head. You're gonna bend your elbows, place your head onto the block and you're gonna do your tripod, okay? If you need the block for support. So if you can't get down there, then just go onto your mat first, place your head onto your block, bend your elbows. Then lift your hips up, walk your feet towards your knees, and come onto the knees. Yep, now walk your feet, hug your elbows inward. That's it. And then you rest your knees on towards. That's it. Good job, don't go higher. Good. So hug your elbows in towards your sides here, yeah, but make them strong. Place your hands flat and, make, and push the ground away from you as much as possible. Good. Then walk your knees and just put your one knee up. That's just onto the resting it there. Just rest it there and the other knee resting onto that elbow. And once you have that connection, then you can feel what that's going to feel like. And push the ground away from you and just lift one toe up and then the other toe. Good job. Well done. Good job. Good job. Is this a con too much? No. no? Good. All right. Give it one more play time. One more play time. So if you're doing your tripod, play one more time. If you want to, and you can do tripod, maybe lift one leg and then the other. One at a time. Yeah, now the, and I lower that one down slowly. Good. Okay, both knees down. Onto your elbows first and then lower down. Good job. Okay, well done. All right, okay, now let's get started with the class. That's the warm up done. <laughs> I know, I'm just a flipping clown. <laughs> Tuck your toes in, lift your hips up, down and facing down. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, inhale, right leg up. Bend your knee in towards your chest. Let's do this properly, round forward and place your knee at your right elbow. Then turn your foot to the left and place your foot behind your wrist. Lower your knee behind your right wrist. If you can't get your bum on the floor, take your block, place it underneath your right glute, stretch your left leg out and get support with your block. It helps, especially if you wanna get into a deeper stretch. Okay, just feel what that feels like. It's really good. Okay, then push the ground away from you. So you want to push onto the legs, push back to get more into the back then. Relax your neck back maybe. And slowly come down into your sleeping pigeon. Arms can be straight out in front of you. It can be onto your forearms. You can rest your head onto your arms. And slowly push up, round up. Come to seated, roll over onto the right side. Take your left leg and place your heel by your knee, okay? So we're in Lord of the Fish pose. And you just hook the right elbow in stop sign. Bring your left hand behind you and make the bind. So see if you can grab your inner thigh and twist a little bit. Don't worry if you can't grab, okay? Don't worry if you can't grab. Just use that bind, lengthen your spine and turn and twist. 
If you can go for a deeper bind, you can interlace your right arm in between the legs and grab your left hand in between. Slowly unravel, don't straighten out the legs, just turn to the right side of the room. Stay exactly how you are and forward fold over to the right side. Push the ground away from you as you stretch over to the right. And slowly round up. Cross your legs. Roll over your knees. Step back to plank. Last opportunity for a vinyasa. So you take it if you want to. Otherwise, meeting downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale breath. Exhale. Left leg up, point your toes. Bend your knee, bring your knee to your left elbow. Flick your foot to the right. Place your foot behind your wrist. Lower your knee behind your wrist. Extend your right leg up behind you. Eventually, you want to get the foot, your shin, in line and parallel horizontal to the top of your mat. Feel how it feels with the block. Nothing wrong using the block. It feels quite good, quite comfy. A bit of a release. And then lift your chest up. Push away from you to try and get into that back thing. And slowly lower down into your sleeping pigeon. <clears throat> Breathe. Relax. Allow your hips and glutes to soften. Allow your arms to soften and your armpits to soften and your shoulders to hang a little bit. Gently, slowly push yourself up. Roll over onto the left side. Take your right heel in front of the left knee corner. Hook your left elbow first and bring your right hand behind you, either going for that bind, just into a nice gentle twist towards the right with over right shoulder. If you can go for the bind, you're more than welcome to interlace the fingers. Grab the opposite hand and twist. Inhale back. And exhale. And slowly, gently unravel. Keep the legs where they're at. Turn towards the left. Drape your body to the left side. Push the ground away from you as you just forward fold, roll side fold over the left. Take a deep inhale breath. Exhale, roll up. And cross the legs. And we're going to come into Pashimottanasana. First forward fold. Just to relax the spine a little bit. Release the spine. Gently forward fold over your legs. Flex your feet towards your face. You can grab your toes if you want to. Keep your spine rounded and chin to chest. Relax your jaw, relax your eyes, relax the muscles in your face, relax your shoulders. If you're holding your feet, relax your hands and let them gently fall onto the mat and then relax your legs so that your heels flop out, your legs relax. As if you're a rag doll, just laying there until your puppet master pulls you up off that string, so just forward fold and nothing to hold on to, nothing to be relaxed. And slowly, gently, with control, round up vertebra by vertebra, straighten out your spine. Shift slightly forward onto your mat, bend your knees. Bring your arms in front of you, tuck your tailbone and roll down onto your back. 
as slowly as possible. Feeling each vertebra as you go down, tuck your tailbone, push your lower back into the mat. And then your upper back, then your shoulders, your neck, your head, and relax your hands next to your hips. Walk your feet up towards your bum. Lift your legs up, bend your knees into your chest. Hug your knees into your chest. Now extend your shins towards the ceiling and flex your feet towards your face. Grab your feet from the outside if you can, otherwise from the inside or big toes. Pull your knees in towards your armpits and a gentle rock side to side, massaging out your spine. And your happy baby, just gentle, not fast. Take movements that work for you and feel good for you. And bring your knees back in towards your chest. Hug them in. Lift your forehead to touch your forehead to your knees. Squeeze yourself into a tight little ball. Squeeze a little bit harder. Take a deep inhale breath. Exhale and release to your mat. Relax into your savasana. Allow your body to relax. Allow your legs to relax, your feet fall out. Wiggle your toes, relax your toes. Allow the back of your calf muscles to relax. Allow your glutes to relax, your hammies and your quads. Allow your hips to relax. Allow your belly to fall towards your spine. Allow your back to be supported by the ground beneath you. Allow your breath to relax until there is no breath. Allow your heartbeat to relax until there is no heartbeat. Allow your shoulders to relax, your arms. Allow your fingers to take their natural pull and the palms of your hands to soften and melt. Allow your throat to become soft your jaw to relax. Allow your tongue to settle in the back of your mouth. Relax your cheeks. Relax your eyes and your eyelids. Relax your brow. Even relax the hair on your head. Only noticing the subtle sounds around you, the air on your body, and feeling absolutely light, complete lightness as if you float. As you lay there in complete lightness, allow yourself to get back into your body. 
and notice that feeling a little bit heavier and take a deep inhale breath, bring back the breath, the prana, the chi, the life force into your body with a deep inhale. So feeling light and relaxed. Notice the gentle beat and rhythm of your heart. And slowly start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Make little conscious movements and when you're ready, roll over onto your right side. And slowly when you're ready, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. If it resonates for you, bring your arms out to the side, up overhead, a big breath in, new breath, new beginnings, hands, palms touch, exhale, hands down towards your heart center. And take a moment just to honor yourself, bow your head towards your heart and show gratitude for your body, for your breath, for your abilities, for your determination and your courage. I give this practice to you with love, absolute honor, privilege, and a pleasure. Namaste.